Hello, I'm Marcus. Just looking at the stock list to see if there's any price adjustments that need to be made and to look at some of the new stock as well. So starting at the top, we have uh, Yamaha Concert Grand and uh, it's unique. And one of the reasons that we'll do price reductions is because we have another piano similar. And we don't in this case. And uh, as it's in a church location and it's locked down, um, that can stay as it is. Very good value for money, I believe. Well, obviously, I believe all our pianos are good value for money. Um, we need to make sure we turn over relatively quickly. So Yamaha C7, there is some interest in that piano. Um, so it's going to stay at that price. Blutner Star 4. Now, that's one of our most popular grand pianos is the Star 4 Blutner. It's, it's the shortest Blutner. And the, as a baby grand, is uh, really, really popular. So I don't think this is likely to go down. There's also lots of interest in that piano too. So we'll leave that as it is for the moment. Um, perhaps we'll just reduce it by a small amount. So I'd say 16,000, just so that you know that our prices are gradually being reduced and until the piano is sold. And uh, here we have Steinway Model O. That's in my house, actually, says other. It says it's actually in my house. And I'm thoroughly enjoying the piano. I'm not inclined to reduce the price on that. If you're interested, then uh, you could. I can always do a video call while, while I'm in front of the piano if you're interested in that. At the moment, I'm not finding enough time to make videos of all the pianos. I'm sorry about that, but certainly can do individual pianos if you're interested. Uh, so Richard Lip, that's actually having its hammers and shanks done at this very moment. So that uh, we'll wait and see what happens to that. Uh, but it's a superb piano. Richard Lip's been one of the pianos that I've had in my house many, many times and just love them. So for Rick, uh, one, two, three is available um, in either walnut, white, matte or black matte, I believe. Um, so we're very keen to sell that piano. It's just an excellent, best forex, best piano. So really recommend that. Um, and a Daneman Concert Grand. Uh, well, I think I will reduce this a little bit. So again, down to 10,250 because... Um, we need to sell it and it's been around for a long time that tells you how long it's been around actually it's been rented out since then that's 2018 uh, it's certainly been rented out and been used in concert venues and so on so that's um that's why that's been in so stock so long Bluton style seven we're just finishing the casework on that and uh, also the fine restoration so i think it's tremendously good value for money the case is pretty perfect as well um, going down the list, Broadwood Bowlers, that's just phenomenal. I did a video comparing some of these pianos, actually comparing, I think, this one with this one um, and uh, this one here, just to see what the difference in tone was. And also as a small, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but uh, the, the Broadwood really fares, and a lot of people commented just how beautiful that does sound. Um, it, we like the Broadwood Bowlers particularly. That's the one that we try and source. Ed Siler. Um, that is a just a very unusual eccentric piano because it's an Ed Sider on the outside, but it's really a Reed Sun on the inside. I bought that to say that Forick, as mentioned Forick earlier, the one, two, three, they, they can do that without a case. So if you've got an old case and you'd like to have a new piano in it, that's certainly uh, a possibility in Forick. It's small enough to put inside the, the case. So um, I think we will reduce that because although I want to have it to show people, we do need to make sure we sell them. So 7250 again. Can go down by a little bit. Uh, Hoffman, that, we'll reduce that a bit. So to seven, five hundred. So they reduce until they're sold. Obviously, that's uh, part of dealing with pianos. Uh, and this one has just come in reasonably recently. That's uh, that shows it's two two thousand twenty one, uh, January the sixth piano in January. So that's been in just recently. I I think it's an excellent piano. Uh, Young Chang is similar to Kawai and Yamaha. And uh, certainly good value. Maybe we'll just reduce it a little bit because uh, I need that was the first. It's always put on at the most optimistic price, obviously. So seven five, we'll reduce that to. And uh, Beckstein eight. That's an upright. And uh, there's two of these. One's a, a, a black matte, and the other one's original polish. And I can't remember which of these two it is. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I'll have a look at that. Maybe the one that's matte black. I'll have a look at them both and see if we, we feel those prices are justified. But certainly Bextime Model 8 is a piano that we want. And you can rent the piano, of course. You can always rent to try it out for a month. That's something we're doing, particularly during lockdown. Um, a chapel, got 140. Now, this has just come into stock, uh, literally. And my colleague's just finishing tidying up the case. 
as we speak and is well i'm very very impressed with this piano i haven't made a video of it again i'm so sorry about that but please do call if you're interested in the, in the piano um call let call first of all i might say i'm not in front of the piano but it can be later on so that is uh i, I actually i think that probably is anything but optimistic it's such a good piano and so short as well so if you're interested in a very short piano four foot seven um chapels really are very very good short grand piano makers in the particularly in the 1930s so that's really worth thinking about there's a rental price there too so if you want to rent the piano um to try it out that would be a good idea caps i love this piano um it's art deco it's something I've sourced to see similar Art Deco styles before and really keen on them. I think we will reduce the price a little bit though. Uh, so let's put it down to seven, seven, one fifty. But I'm very impressed with the piano. So if you get that, uh, again, you can rent the piano and really worth trying out. Steingrabe is extremely well respected maker of piano. And that also has been in stock for a while. And I think also I'm going to reduce that to, to six, six nine fifty so if you're interested in that one please let us know uh, it's exceptional piano in every way and again it can be rented out and uh the campbell 141 i've that's the one i compared with the longer grand pianos it's surprisingly good for its length of piano and campbell are renowned for good small piano makers so but we will reduce that a little bit as well because we've got pianos coming in so we do need to make sure these turn over and uh, again the rental is available and uh Clavinova, well, that's unusual and stock we mentioned before. Don't often have Clavinovas in stock. Uh, we do try and source Clavinovas, sorry. Um, but uh, I think, I'm not sure what this should sell for. It's about double this price new and is as, in, as new. So if you're interested in a very high quality digital piano, that's certainly worth thinking about. And I don't mind renting that out, although it's um, digital, we don't always rent those out. But in this case, secondhand ones we do. Uh, so that could be rented, tried out for a month as well. Next time, five is an upright piano and uh, 1891. No, that, I uh, just remember that that one is that, uh, oh, sorry, I beg your pardon, but we need to change the rest blank. Um, so that we're intending to get around to doing and then it will be that price. Uh, so that's something where it's a bit very pretty cases, Bex time fives, but they very often have problems with their rest blanks. Uh, as I've mentioned on many videos, Frank, I've never had one before, but i would really pleased I got this one because I wanted to try one out and indeed they are as good as the other top quality West German pianos. If you're in the trade and have experience with them, I'd love, love to know, but that has also been around for a while. So I'll put that at five and a half. And again, you can rent this piano as well. Forex 125, I'll try and go a bit faster as we've always got Forex in, except for this one actually, it's due in. Well, we haven't got it in and Forex can't get it in, in at the moment either with the lockdown. It's not available in Europe, I don't think. Um, so for it, one, two, twos, those we definitely uh, favour and sell a reasonable number of them. So we're one of our preferred makes of new piano. The price is slightly higher than it used to be, unfortunately, with the uh, Brexit and has mean prices have gone up a bit. But uh, certainly very good value for money anyway. That's why we've got them in. So y Yamaha U3s, we're always trying to get those as well. Again, it's hard to get those actually at the moment. These are secondhand from Japan, imported from Japan. And uh, we've sold so many of those, but again, quite hard to get. And the U, same with the U ones, uh, the, the G series, I really enjoy. I'm trying to go fast now, sorry. And uh, Forex one two two, um, that one's been in for, that one's been in before we got the last lot in. So it's slightly cheaper. It's equally good. Um, I haven't really gone through to see which of the Forex is better than the others. So if you're interested in knowing, just ask me, and I'll try and try and discern between them. Uh, Yamaha U3G, again, it's a G series, which I particularly try and get. Um, Marshall and Rose, now that's exceptional. It's a Wellmar. Uh, Marshall and Rose were taken over by Wellmar. And in fact, Marshall and Rose used to do, use the first two digits as their, the, the year of the piano. Uh, when Wellmar took them over, Wellmar said, that's a good idea. So they did it. But that's a Wellmar one, 64. I'm not quite sure how much involvement Marshall and Rose have with that piano because it says made by them. But anyway... Um, what so and Wellmars, of course, we're always wanting to get Wellmar pianos in, so very, very good value for money. And if you want a small piano and the um, just very, very stable, um, sorry about the superlatives, and 
a kawaii that's a digital so again that that's that's actually due in so that's something we can get in sorry about that and knight k10 20 well we've gone to the knights now um that's what well there's a couple in between here but let's go to the knights first uh, that's probably a k10 or, or 20 that one and then we've got knight k6 has is is got 20 on the frame uh well we're sourcing knights all the time this is an unusual knight we have got a video about these uh so if you go to our video channel and type in knight piano in the search you'll find the video hopefully and so kawaii uh, k15 that's one of our preferred new pianos so that's brand new and uh, certainly excellent pianos i believe kawaii have got them it's been difficult to get new pianos both for kawaii and for it but i think they have got them we've got some on the way ordered up so we've got one in stock if you want that one and i played it the other day compared it to knights and wellmars and a tremendous instrument gorse and kalman 1118 um i'm not sure if we got a video of that piano i think we have actually so if again if you go to the video channel type in gorse and kalman you'll find that there should be a link uh, right at this very moment the links aren't working i'm so sorry about that but hopefully they will be working very very soon uh then we have a night uh, sorry i've done the nights already getting a bit muddled up Sil silverman uh ripon uh, well, Ripon's very respected, but this is my, one of my eccentricities because it's in Ferrari red and uh, looks uh, with the Ferrari logo on it as well. So something I fell for, but it's a very high quality piano for that price. And uh, Kawhi's was another digital one. And that one is is in stock. And uh, Young Chang, that's a part exchange piano, but very good tone. Sorry, very good touch. Um, the tone's a bit plain, perhaps. But uh, good value for money in terms of student piano to learn on. Uh, that's another digital piano, which we have got in stock. And uh, uh, and, and a second-hand Clavinova, which we've got in stock too. The rental of that one would be £50 to try it out for a month. And then if you want to carry on that renting, that's, that's fine. Otherwise, you can buy the piano. And we'll, we're will we encouraging folks to buy, obviously. So if you want to make us an offer, uh, that sometimes is possible. But prices are quite keen, really. Now, we go to get down to piano stools. We've got over 150 piano stools in stock. This is our normal range here. And uh, then we come down to... So, basically, you've got a concert stool at the top here. Uh, sorry, this one here. And then going down from there. And uh, this stool is, is made in Spain. So, they're really well-made piano stools. And then, last of all, we have some rental pianos. You see, this is rental only. And... Uh, that's because it belongs to somebody and they don't want it stored. They prefer it to be used, which is quite sensible. So we, we often do that. And uh, uh, then we have Cat's Clips, which are good accessories for uprights. You'll see them on our website. And finally, a Steinway, which is also for rental. So that's available too. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that's been helpful. I think I missed out one piano. So I'm going to go back up to. Uh, I was ticking them all off earlier on and realised that I missed out this Beckstein. I did mention it in passing that we had a video of that compared to other pianos, but I can really recommend the piano. Um, it's a high quality piano. It has Sheraton star casework, which um, if you have a look at the video, our video channel, you can see videos. Look for Beckstein B Sheraton, or put Sheraton for that matter in, and you'll find that. And very good value for money, I believe. Uh, the hammers are hardly used, and we, we finally regulate it so that or they feel like as much like a new piano as possible. Thank you very much.